okay so here what i'm trying to show you is an practical example uh, of creating a finite state machine or a state diagram you can uh, think of uh, and here uh, you will see how things get practically um, uh, attached and uh, you can you can see a simple elevator which you might see uh, uh, in your daily life can be seen as a finite state machine that is the motive i have taken this uh, from some some internet only i searched about an elevator example and this is what uh, it came up uh, it's paper some paper from princeton and um, uh, my motive is just to show you what we have learned how you can see uh, these things in your uh, day to day life okay so here it goes uh, here is an example of designing a finite state machine worked out from start to finish means you will be designing the uh, finite state machine as well as the circuit for that okay so just now uh, just like what we have done till now for sequence detector or uh, 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 serial adder what we have seen so this uh, this in this example we'll be designing a controller for an elevator elevator means lift right the elevator can be at one of the two floors means it has only ground floor and first floor so slightly impractical but uh, you can think uh, uh, means in terms of fsm so here you have ground floor or first floor for that you are using a elevator there is a button that controls the elevator and it has two values up or down you can think of it as a input okay binary input up or down means one or zero also there are two lights in the elevator that indicate the current floor red for ground and green for first means these are your output okay two output you are having one is telling you um, uh, red for ground and another is telling you green for first floor okay they are indicating the floors so 1001 you can imagine okay at each time step the controller checks the current floor and current input changes floor and light in the obvious way okay <coughs> sorry so you can think of it current floor as your present state current input as your input changes floor means next state and lights are your output can you see the connection like a present state next state input output so now you can draw an fsm ground is your one state first is your another state okay when the input is up it will uh, from ground to first it will go if the input is down it will stay in ground floor only okay and it will indicate via red on green off similarly if you are at first floor and you press up it will stay at first floor if you will press down it will go to ground floor and you can see the first floor is indicated by red off green on and ground floor is indicated by red on green off okay so you can see this is a more type of fsm because output is attached to the state itself and the inputs are outside this is a uh, just a uh, uh, whatever you have uh, seen here in a statement is is represented in fsm type okay so in this diagram the bubbles represent the states and the arrows represent state transition the arrow label indicate the input value corresponding to the transition for instance when the elevator is in the ground state and the input is up the next state is first you can see right the information in the bracket indicates the output values of the lights in each state see that so how do you have converted a problem in words into a fsm that is what you have to learn actually okay then you can assign numbers to it before converting the fsm into the circuit we need to represent every value in our by example as a binary number so some convenient number to use you can see for ground they are using zero and for first they are using one then inputs are zero one that means up down or down up and off is equal to zero on is equal to one that comes in uh, output okay so here you can see the converted state diagram here if you are at zero state and you are giving input zero it will stay at give zero state and the output will be red is equal to one green is equal to zero 
if you will have output 1 it will go to state 1 the output will be red 0 green 1 right that is when you are in 0 state now if you are in 1 state you press 1 you will stay in this state and your output will be red is equal to 0 green equal to 1 if you will put output 0 it will go to state 0 and the output will be red equal to 1 green equal to 0 that is how you read okay just like what we have done here you can see this can be converted into a diagram so current state is 0 input is 0 next state is 0 outputs are these are two output you having this is present state this is next state and this is the input and red and green are output similarly 0 and uh, 1 1 so if your current state is 0 input is 1 it goes to 1 you can see here right and the output attached is 1 0 red is 1 uh, green is 0 so this is uh, related to the uh, it is more a type of that's why it is current state whatever the current state is output is attached to that okay so more a type table you have to make similarly 1 0 if uh, you are in 1 and input is 0 then you go to 0 and the output will be 0 1 attached to the present state okay so this is what the table will look like now in the big picture you you remember the sequential circuit diagram you had uh, some memory element next state circuit and output circuit and this is the current state next state this is the input and these are the output the box the thing the dotted box star still need to be designed but here you can see a d flip flop is used why because you have only two states right <coughs> two states mean two to the power one is um, two right uh, that so one flip flop will do the work two states means capital n value is two small n one will be uh, sufficient so here you can see the only one d flip flop they have used right now all of sm will have some similar you need to have only one d flip flop you can see uh, more states uh, would need more flip flops our example one input that is i but in general it could have many inputs or outputs the, these are not important uh, here also you can see they are what they are trying to do they are building the output separately uh, r is um, uh, made separately and g is made separately but overall this will be the output logic okay the main part is here it is coming expressions boolean expressions so uh, since the uh, number of variables is less you can also work with boolean algebra they have used boolean algebra you can see here so from step 4 uh, this is these are the logic so next state uh, sub circuit had two input i and cs and one output ns okay from the truth table you can see uh, since it is a d flop so next state will be equal to d right so excite in excitation you can imagine this uh, next state equal to d itself right so uh, you can see these are the two inputs current state and input and outputs are red and green so for uh, d if you try to write expression boolean expression or k map you will get uh, you are getting one in this case when zero one and in this case one one right so you can write current state bar input or current state input right this is what they have written for 0 and 1 and 1 and 1 they are writing not cs and i or cs and i because they are using boolean algebra right uh, we have used a k map usually because it gives simplest expression i mean simplified expression but here they have to simplify it so here you can see they are using some some uh, useful some rules of boolean logic you can see these are the logic being used a or 0 is a like this and here you can see for next state they have minimized it to i okay so i is your next state expression means d0 is i that is what you can imagine similarly they have calculated the expression for r and g you can see not cs and cs you can go here and you can see r is 1 for these two input 0 0 and 0 1 so the common part is current state bar okay that is present state bar similarly if you look for green it is 1 0 1 1 means 1 is common so current state okay so that is what they have written right and then they have implemented the circuit next state is equal to i and uh, r is cs bar you can see and g is cs just a simple circuit uh, but you can see how uh, they have formulated the knowledge of 
FSM into elevator. Okay, this was the motive. So how things get practically attached, that's where you have to learn, that's what you have to learn uh, so that you will be able to convert a controller or some machine into state diagrams. Okay, Then rest of the part you are already aware, you already learned it and that becomes easier, it's procedural. But making state diagram is uh, uh, the important thing to learn. Uh, so let me take some other examples as well if I'll find, Okay, so that you will get better picture regarding sequential circuits.